What's going on guys? T2RX6 here back for another third party review and today we're taking a look at the Warbitron WB03-C uh, known as Sly Strike, otherwise known as Swindle. As you can see, it's a nice little truck. Let's look at the instructions real quick. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, they work, they serve their purpose, but where's my English story? I really liked my terrible, terrible story. I liked reading it every time it came, and then to get this, disappointing. Anyway, enough time with that. Let's look at the actual toy itself. So you can see he's a nice little Hummer here, H1 style Hummer. Uh, pretty good rendition. I uh, really don't have too many complaints about it. Uh, I guess you have a little bit of stuff going on on the back, but you know, nothing looks bad. It's got enough paint for what it needs to be. He does come with two accessories, this big cannon and this little cannon, and you can plug it right into the roof there. So, yeah, really not much more to say about that. Let's bring out some of his uh, Bruticus mates. Here is Brawl, and uh, there is Airburst slash Blast Off. So you can see, you know, good size comparison between them. I mean, obviously... This should be a lot smaller than a tank, but you know, whatever. It works for what it's intending to do. So let's not waste any more time and let's actually get this guy transformed. And keeping in the spirit of the rest of the Combaticons, you know, he's really a pretty st simple, straightforward toy to transform. Um, there are a couple tabs on the side here that I'm not a huge fan of, the way things peg in, like especially up at this back window up here. Um, it feels like this tab is going to lead to stress on here, but I haven't seen anything yet. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely something to be careful of. So, anyway, start by taking these out. And, uh, you can see, see how it's, how I'm putting that force on. And it just takes a while for that tab to actually pop itself loose. That is the one thing that does worry me a tiny bit about Swindle. But, we're going to take this, and we'll fold his legs on down. And all Warbitron toys are just simple and straightforward. Drop these panels, drop his feet, open up the uh, heel spur, and uh, flip his little toe down here to kind of complete the look on the front, like so. And uh, you do have a little side panel here that I often forget. Just folds down like that to kind of mask the foot a little bit better. So again, flip all this stuff down, like so. Flip the back panel. Flip this down here. And uh, I do notice that the way the back panel connects on this guy, oftentimes it does kind of pop around when you're trying to articulate him a little. But, you know, if you're not really playing with the toy too much, it's really not too big of a deal. So there we go. We got his feet. Let's actually raise this up here and we can get to his arms and stuff. So the first thing to do here is to disconnect the wheels, they just kind of tab into this little piece here, so they just kind of pop out. They're not held on terribly strong. And we can take this and rotate it all the way around and plug it into the front of the truck like that. We'll do that again. Rotate the arms, plug it on in. And we might as well go ahead and finish up with the hands. Open up this little thing. And uh, once again, it is a bit of a difficult hand to get out of here uh, since it's tight on that joint but with the right amount of pressure you should be able to get it and flip it on open like so. So what I always do is kind of push the bottom part of the hinge with my finger down here so it pops up and then that lets me get the finger around or the hand around. And there we go. We've got that. Now we're going to come to the front here and bring it all the way down and just clip it together like so. We'll come to the back piece here and the, uh, the back is a little bit weird. I don't quite know exactly what you're supposed to do with this but uh, you can kind of do what you want. Um, I guess we'll save the head reveal. So all this stuff just kind of folds itself up into a pretty compact structure like this. And we can do that for the other side here. So, folds down, folds in, folds in. And I kind of make it kind of like like this when it folds up. You'll see better, I guess. And then you can actually compress part of the roof here. 
like this and bring it on in. Now this does kind of scare me a little bit when uh, retracting and pulling that out because you do have a tendency to catch the uh, front of the window. So just be aware when you're pushing that out to ensure you're not pulling on something that's going to potentially snap off. So anyway, take his head, we flip that on up. And uh, if you want the truck chest, kind of like Hound, you can leave it like that. But you're intended to take this and flip it all the way down and back. Like so. There we go. So it kind of fits right down here. And this is where I'm not 100% sure on what the instructions really want you to do with the back here. So I paused for just a second just to take a quick look at what the instructions wanted us to do. So what it really kind of tells us to do is that this stuff all sort of stays together like so. And uh, they have it shown like it is plugged in like this and then you take this piece down and just hang it off the back. Something like that. Um, there's certainly a number of different things that you can do with the back if you so choose. And uh, then you just kind of do what you want with the wheels. I like to have them angled in. You may want to have them sort of angled out the top. But I prefer to err on the side of trying to keep it as compact as I possibly can. And there we go. We've got Swindle here. And I've got to say, it's a pretty darn good likeness of him. Let's see if we can get a look at his face here. Like that, without a doubt, is Swindle. And, uh, might be hard to see. I don't know if we'll actually be able to focus on it, but he does have some decent light piping there. Uh, I don't know if it was apparent by moving the light or not. I guess so. But, pretty cool. I like the light piping on this guy. Now, of course, you can actually give him his two guns here. Uh, you have the larger one, and you can fold this down. And uh, notably, unlike uh, the brawl equivalent, there's no tabs here to uh, have to slide them in a certain way in his hand. So it's just a matter of carefully, carefully, because his thumb is in the way, getting it on in there. And he holds it like a champ. So really no complaints there. And same thing goes for his pistol. Now it would have been nice if one of these holes on his uh, shoulders here was drilled out a little nicer so you could make it a shoulder cannon. But it's not, so what can you do? Let's do a real quick look at articulation before we compare him to anything else. Um, his head is on a ball joint, good range of motion out of that one. Um, very nice for emoting on this guy, I really like him. Uh, you got that for in and out swivel on the shoulder as well as the rotation which can be hindered by the wheel but easy enough to get it out of the way the uh, bicep swivel the elbow that can go completely the other way um, which may actually lead to yeah no, never mind I thought I might have had the hands on you know flipped the wrong way and it should be the other way but if you did that then it, it certainly wouldn't be right. So, as you saw, the wrists are on a swivel. You do have the waist swivel, the universal thigh joint with the swivel in two directions, a thigh, a knee swivel, and then when you come down to the toe here, they are on little ball joints, so you do get just a little bit of motion out of that. Actually, I guess that's more than a little bit. And, uh, yeah, totally serviceable for his uh, articulation there. So let's compare him to his, again, Brawl, or, I'm sorry, Bruticus Brothers, and here is Brawl and uh, Blast Off, and you can see it's really shaping up to be a nice looking set. And right now, aesthetically, I say Swindle's my favorite, uh, followed probably by um, Blast Off. I just really like how these two guys turned out. Um, he just could be a little bit more bulky, in my opinion. But, uh, yes, really it's a nice toy. So getting this guy back to his truck is just as easy as it was to put him to his robot mode. Uh, we'll take everything here, flip it around, get his head back into its uh, cavity there. Get this out of the way. Close the front of the truck, like so. Bring up that. 
Now we can, uh, let's do, well, let's, let's split this first. And you can see I'm gonna, see, this is where it's hard to grip. Because you don't have much to grip to actually pull this thing out carefully. Like, this is on just one tiny hinge, so be careful with that. There we go. Pull that one on out like so. Now that we've got that, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and unfold the door pieces here. Like that. And let's take these. Let's put them away. And I do notice that if you don't have these in the right way, these don't tend to close very well. Um, so just be aware of that. So there we go, close that. Come on, there we go. <clears throat> so now that we've got that, you have to, this is a little bit tough to, well, it's becoming easier the more I do it, but the first couple times that was pretty tough to actually separate the torso like that. So now we've got that, we can kinda put all this stuff back together. And see, you have to push this together without actually telescoping the roof in on itself. So there we go. Take that around. And this is, this part is a little bit of a mess, I suppose. So this rotates down like this and around, if I recall correctly. We'll know for sure once we actually get him back closer to his vehicle mode. But it should be something like this, and as this rotates around, this is gonna fit right in there, like that. So again, we'll do that for this side here. It's a matter of just kinda seeing how things go, and then uh, realizing which way you can get the best bend out of the arm, and then closing it all the way, like that. So there we go, that's in position. The wheels just tab right on in, like that. Next thing to do, take these little panel pieces, fold all of them up, fold his feet on up, make sure you open the little toe piece to get the right clearance there. And they can fold all the way forward and up. And then just take this thing and flip it all the way around, like so. Peg everything all in together down here. Like that. So you pretty much got the truck here except for all the flaps. And then just uh, carefully close everything on up here. So we close that. We close this tab. like that and then just push the window down and there we go we got him back in his truck mode so very easy to go back and forth very fun i highly recommend this guy i think he is so far my favorite of the set so this is t 6 i hope you guys enjoyed the review and i'll see you next week